welcome to my Brittany. <laughs> we're going with it. Brittany's time. That was cringy. It was cringy. Welcome to my YouTube. My name's Kirsten. I am an online ladies only fitness coach. And today I present to you the one, the only, the mummy tummy makeover. So ladies with babies, ladies without babies that want to have babies, this is for you. We're also going to be doing a killer core and cardio circuit. Mother, not a mother. You'll love to try it out. It's killer. It's going to get you sweating, burning calories and help you tighten up that core. Um, before I dive into it, I had a little bit of a weird morning. I was like, do I put on makeup at 7am on a Saturday morning? And then I, I thought to myself, I think it's really important that, okay, myself, I would never put on makeup at 7am in the morning. Screw that shit. So I put a little straightens in my hair, but I'm coming to you all natural because I think it's important to love yourself with makeup and without makeup. Love all of you. And then I had one more thing to say. Free community. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's why I hired you guys to work for me, baby. Um, I run a ladies only fitness community on Facebook. Ladies, if you are not in here, I do live workouts. I post recipes. I'm constantly in there answering questions. Brittany's dancing in the mirror <laughs> like this. It's a really fun community. If you're not a part of it, I'm going to pin the link in the comments. I would love to see you in there. Only if you're a woman, boys not allowed. You can watch the episode. Enjoy the mommy tummy makeover, but don't put your name to request the free community because I'll decline you. All right, guys, tip number one, part number one of the mommy tummy makeover is find yourself a nice fitting set of high-waisted pants. If you guys follow me on Instagram, if you guys follow me on Facebook, if you follow me on TikTok, wherever your heart follows me, wherever you see me, you will see that I come with a pair of high-waisted pants. And as much as since I started my fitness journey about 10 years ago, I have 100% tightened, toned, and really transformed my mommy tummy into something that I thought that I wouldn't be able to. I still always wear high-waisted pants because unless you're thinking of getting a tummy tuck, you're still gonna have that little bit of extra skin on your stomach. So honestly, I just feel more confident. I feel better. I feel great wearing a set of high-waisted pants. So the outfit that I'm wearing right now is Love Fitness Apparel. They're from Hawaii. They're absolutely amazing. 90% of the time, you guys see me in Lulu aligns. I swear by them. But honestly, like as a mom, I just feel so much better with a set of high-waisted pants than I do with low-rise pants. So that's tip number one, part number one. All right, guys, part number two of the mommy tummy makeover. Woo. Woo. All right, drip fit. So this is a drip fit and I wear one of these bad boys. You can see mine's kind of outdated. I think I really need a new one. Um, I've had this one guys for almost two years, literally year and a half, but I will not do a cardio session without my drip fit on. So every single day I'm doing 30 to 45 minutes of cardio, depending on my activity level for the day. And also just depending on how I feel minimum 30 minutes, maximum 45 minutes. And if I forget my drip fit, I am genuinely so upset. What drip fit does is make you pour sweat in your core area. Oh, what? Action powers back on. Ladies, if you do not have one of these, I highly recommend getting one. I will not do a cardio session without one of these. It does come with a sweat enhancing cream. Super great, increases blood flow and will actually increase the sweat that you have on that stomach area. So I love it. I like swear by it. I use it every single cardio session. I'm currently waiting to hear back from Drip Fit because I use it so often and speak so highly of it. I want to see if I can get a discount code for, um, for my followers because yeah, I just love it. And I think I'm going to go purchase a new one because my, my stuff, my stuff is coming out because you got to wash it because it gets gross. Anyways, let's dive into how you put this bad boy on and then I'm going to take you guys through my cardio session. Okay. So wrap it around. So as you guys can see, I, I, I do love my stomach. There's a little bit of work I need to do. I don't have, I'm trying to work on building core definition while keeping my booty. It's harder than it sounds, but I do have that extra skin from having a kid. So that's why I say high-waisted pants are life. So with these guys, you're going to want to get it as tight as you possibly can. I'm wrapping it around the left, bring it in tight, 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 boom. I don't have any of the cream right now. Um, it still works great. I still pour sweat without the cream. I am gonna go buy some when I make my next uh, make my next shop to supplement king. But there you have it, guys. And then I always wear sweater drip cardio, so I will literally be sweater drip fit leggings, and I will go on the cardio machine and die for 45 minutes, and I love it. 
All right, guys, follow me. We're gonna go do my favorite, absolute favorite cardio. All right, guys, I got my sweater. I got my drip fit. I got my music. I have the treadmill set for an incline of 15. That's the highest it will possibly go. And then I'm gonna do a speed 4.5. I do find that these treadmills here, 4.5 can sometimes be a light jog, whereas this is just a walk for me. So you kinda wanna go somewhere where you're not sprinting. It's just a nice, fast walk. I'm gonna put my headphones in, and I'm gonna do this for 15 minutes with no hands, absolutely no touching the treadmill. All right, guys, cardio is done. As you can see, I'm sweaty. I really have a lot of upper lip sweat. And what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to take you through one of my live workouts that I do in my client only community. So you're getting a behind the scenes look at what goes on in my client only community. Let's get sweaty. Start with a cardio warm up. And Jen, you can kind of show this is what I do in my client only community, guys. We do a little live workout so all the ladies in the community can see. We get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start with high knees. Cardio first, always. So we got 30 seconds high knees, 30 seconds squat jumps, 30 seconds reverse lunges, okay? So high knees, drive those knees up, go, 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 for 30 seconds, guys. The idea of this is to get our heart rate up before we start working. So you never wanna just dive in, in, into a workout head first. You wanna get your body active, get your body ready for work. Higher, right? Higher. That was our warm up and I really do just want to dive right into it. So we're doing 45, 30, 15 second intervals and then a 60 second cardio spurt. So core, 45, 50, 45 30, 15, 60 seconds cardio. Repeat, it's sick, it's gonna target that core, but it's also gonna get your heart rate up and work the cardiovascular system so you're burning calories. Exercise number one, yo. Flutter kicks for 45. We're gonna start high and work our way low. So for the 45 seconds, I want you guys high right here, and we're gonna work our way down. Let's get it. So we're not going to do slow and controlled. We're going to go for speed. So from our hands, it's going to look like this. From our hands, core is tight, speed, go. Entire body is sore. So it's like, not only am I, my cardiovascular system is tiring out, but my core is giving out before that does. Like my body feels like I can go and run, run, run but my core is like, absolutely not. Okay, next exercise, guys. Side plank with a hip dip. So, a couple modifications that you guys can do. I'm so sweaty. From your forearm and your knee, right here, little dips, just like that. So you're supporting yourself with your right leg and your forearm, you're keeping your core tight. Level number two, you're gonna come up onto your feet, stacked or scissored, I like mine stacked. Dip, step number three, or level number three. You're coming all the way up, so there's a bigger dip and squeeze, okay? I'm gonna do level two. We're gonna do 45, 30, 15 on either side. So let's freaking go. And get it.
So sit up for a twist. Sit up with a twist for 45 seconds. I want to focus on keeping my feet on that mat. So you really want to use your core to drive yourself up. If you're going like this, avoid doing the full sit up. Just practice crunches until you build up that strength. Sit up with a twist, looks like this. We come up, side to side. We're doing 10 Russian twists. And then back down, back up for 45. Let's get it. Two. Dead, 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 dead. Okay, 60 seconds, spider climbers with a mountain climber. So, <laughs> yeah, I know we're not done. Guys, if you're following along with this, this workout is super intense. And I think that a lot of the time people need to prove that they can do it. You will see me taking breaks. So right now I'm working with a chest wall injury. So I'm getting IMS now my neck is the side of my neck. It's really tight. So I literally physically cannot do some of the stuff with a designated interval and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it because I need to listen to my body first. So even with this, I should not be doing this because it puts a lot of pressure on my shoulder and I really need to just get Recover. It just happens if I sleep funny, it tweaks again. All right, next one. Spider and mounter, to mounter, spider and mountain together. So I'm gonna go guys from my forearms because I know it's better than me, but I'm gonna demonstrate from my hands. It will look like this. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. I'm gonna go like, actually I can do it from my hands. I'm feeling it. I can do it. Three, two, one, let's blast it out. One. Okay, last one, cross over toe tap, crunch. So right arm coming to left leg, body is like this, you're just lying flat. My right arm is coming up to my left toe, I'm crunching. It's not about touching your toe, it's about squeezing your core. So if you're here, squeeze, that is awesome. Don't do this, because you're not doing the movement properly. So less about ego, more about what's good for your body. Let's go. Um, all right, let's do it. 60 second plank. Oh my God. Three, two, one. Core tight, shoulders down and back. The wider your feet, guys, the wider your the bigger your base of support. So essentially, if you come out, you're widening that base of support, which is going to make it easier. If you come in, smaller base of support, which is going to make it a little bit harder. Okay, guys. Before we end this, I'm so sweaty. I'm going to take this off and show you guys. So at the beginning of the week, I was able to do a 60 second, no, we did a minute 30. Yeah. A minute 30 plank. Oh my God, this is horrendous. Ah, I did a minute 30 plank with like no issues. My body is like so ready for a solid day of rest. I can barely do 60 seconds. So that's when pumping out a gym session tomorrow would be detrimental to my fitness progress. My body absolutely is in need of rest and recovery. And it takes your muscles about 36 hours to recover. So you do not want to be doing back to back to back. And people are like, the program's working. I'm so sore. But if you're doing like a heavier set leg day and then another heavier set leg day, you're basically working out on broken down muscles and your muscles aren't having that time that they need to repair. So. I like preach with my entire soul that it is so important, you guys, to take a rest and do not overdo it. If you overdo it, you're not gonna get where you wanna be. So, super important, I'm putting my hair. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed number one, the tips, number two, the sweaty workout, and I hope you are well on your way to feeling more confident in your skin and just know that, yes, we can hide and tighten and tone, but, the, 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 this is going to sound super cheesy, but I actually a hundred percent mean it with my entire heart and soul. The fact that we were able to like grow a human inside of us, we have to really learn to like rock our stomach. So mine made me insecure for so long. It just was like, I was like, ah, why? And I've learned to look at it in a different way, but, um, there is hope that you can tighten and tone because if you look at me from after I had Haley to now, there's a huge, crazy difference. So best of luck to you. Like and subscribe. I'm leaving two links at the bottom. One link is for my free community. Link number two is if you are ready to commit and join my client-only community, 
$40 a month for workouts, nutrition, live workouts, just like that. And I would love to have you on the team. Peace, love, and protein. I'm out here trying to show you guys how to get, you disguise your mommy tummy, and they're putting each other's hair on each other. Hey. <laughs> guys, how would I Do look? you think Jen would look better with this? Honestly, yes. It looks healthier. Yeah. It does. Uh -huh. Brittany, you need to donate your hair to Jen. Please donate. I know. Actually, I you, already, do. you already have a boyfriend. He's going to love you no matter what. Screw no, it. Brittany, not. don't do it. <laughs> oh, he doesn't? I'm I mean, you're kind of hard to love. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Actually, kidding. it looks cute. Maybe I would yeah, look good with a little bob. I think you would look good with a little bob.